the measurements of the inertial measurement units require further processing to get to the outputs of the RT. A strap down navigator is used to do this. The strap down navigator applies the corrections from the Kalman filter to the angular rate inputs. It also corrects for the Earth's rotation and transport rate. Then it integrates the angular rates to give heading, pitch and roll. Accelerations are corrected for bias and rotated by heading, pitch and roll. Gravity and Coriolis acceleration are removed. Then the accelerations are integrated to velocity and integrated again to position. All the integrations can have corrections applied by the Kalman's filter to correct any drift that occurs. Now let's look at the RT error correction Kalman filter. The Kalman filter does not filter the data. Instead it filters the errors. The outputs are directly from the inertial sensors after the corrections have been done. The role of the Kalman filter is to make the difference between the GPS and the inertial measurements as small as possible. To do this, it takes an error signal and uses this error to figure out what parameters in the strap down navigator are incorrect. Corrections to the position and velocity are applied smoothly. This can be important for applications like steering robots, where the jump can cause a large change into the steering controller. The GPS receiver can operate at 20 Hz, but there is no additional information in the 20 Hz signal, so it would not make the outputs more accurate by running the GPS faster. Instead, there are better ways of using the CPU power of the navigation computer. We have found that using the 10 Hz GPS update compared to 5 Hz GPS does result in an improvement, but it is not very significant.